Hello, welcome to this segment of Under the Microscope. I'm Jeff Gold, and thank you so much for being with us today. I have the pleasure and honor of being joined by Dr. Babu Gouda. Welcome, Babu. Thank you so much for being with us. Dr. Gouda is the director of UNMC's Bioinformatics and Systems Biology Corps and professor in the Department of Genetics, Cell Biology, and Anatomy. Thank you for being with us. Thank you, Dr. Gordon. It's my pleasure. I wanted to talk a little bit about precision medicine and how the personal genome information is used and to specifically focus on our relationship with the IBM Watson group and what we're doing with genomics and I know we're doing some work in cancer and other areas as well. So maybe you could tell me and tell our audience uh, how this project got started and, and, and what we're doing today. So precision medicine is a type of med medical care that is specifically designed to benefit a certain group of patients by using their genetic or clinical information. And we have been working with IBM Watson for almost two and a half years now. And so far we have analyzed about 820 genome samples from 420 patients. Wow. And these are, uh, we have been working, um, this is a team of people under the leadership of Dr. Ken Cohen from the Buffett Cancer Center. Mm -hmm. uh, they, include, they include oncologists, um, a lot of you know, uh, personnel from core facilities and we all work together to uh, develop this platform. And our goal is to analyze about 1,100 samples by the end of summer. So if uh, I had a family member who was a patient who was interested in this, uh, what would they, how, how could this help them? Yes. So we can use this information in many different ways. Uh, the first thing is that we have identified a lot of um, differences in the mutation profiles between different subgroups of breast cancer patients. Are these all breast cancer patients? These are all breast cancer patients that are seen at UNMC and its affiliate institutions. Mm -hmm. And we can use these mutational profiles to identify the dominant cancer pathways in each subgroup and we can help design custom uh, therapeutic strategies for each subgroup. And secondly... So does, I'm sorry, but does that mean different medications, different types of chemo? perhaps a different type of use of, right. of radiation therapy? Right, so each genetic mutation profile uh, indicates that there are certain specific risks associated with different subtypes. Mm -hmm. So we can use that information to find the targets and then we can design specific uh, targeted therapies for each subgroup. So is it known that this would translate into either quality of life or quantity of life as a result of the specific precision medicine determination? Absolutely. That is, that is the main goal of doing this, yes. And as you say, uh, we're still enrolling patients? The Buffett Cancer Center maintains a lot of patient registries, sure. and we have all the information on these patients, including demographics. We have lifestyle information. We have medical history information. So we can actually follow through these registries to provide care at the metastatic stage, and eventually in the future, we can continue to provide care for them. That's really exciting. Is it the hope that over time that more and more patients will have access to this type of technology and different types of cancers and perhaps even non-malignant diagnoses? Absolutely. So the, the goal here is we have um, all the infrastructure at UNMC, most of the infrastructure at UNMC, to offer genome-based personalized care um, by streamlining certain procedures, by complying with uh, certain FDA regulations, and then filling the missing gaps, we can actually um, take it to the next level to offer genome-based personalized medicine at UNMC. Well, that's really exciting, and I'm sure our patients and our physician colleagues across the state and around the region are really excited that we've been able to foster this partnership with uh, IBM and to use the very best of cognitive computing, known as Watson, as a way of enhancing patient care. Thank you for everything you do in this area, and thanks for being with me today. And thank you so much for being with me today on this segment of Under the Microscope.